Hey, what's up? This is Paul Soltz. Welcome to a, a video where I'm going to show off a brand new app that I've been working on. This is an app that I'm working on with Luke, one of my interns who's doing a lot of the programming, and I am sort of managing the project and providing some technical oversight. So if you want a behind the scenes look at this app, or if you want to beta test this app, this is a brand new app we're making for Mac. And uh, originally, I was going to work on an iPhone app, my coffee app. And we ended up building this app because all of the existing apps on the Mac App Store haven't been working. And so that's why we got started. Now, the tentative name is called Super Easy Timer, but I'm looking for input on what we could really call this. I'm looking for input on a, a better name because I, I really don't want to do a line extension of the Super Easy Apps brand for this product. So if you have an idea, let me know. Just comment down below in the comments what you think I should call this. This is a brand new app. It's totally built in Swift and it's been a lot of fun to work on. I'm really excited about it. I've been using it every day for the past, I don't know, three or four weeks. We started this on uh, October 18th and that was our first commit. We created a very simple prototype. It worked for what I needed and then we've been refining a lot of the features. So now what you're seeing is something that's a little bit more fleshed out. There's still a lot of work to do, but I think you'll get the, the core concept and we're gonna be opening up beta testing. So if you're excited about beta testing, if you wanna learn how we're gonna monetize this application, if you want to learn any of the insights into some of the brains behind this application, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe down below. So there's a little link at the bottom. If you go down there, you can subscribe. So let's jump right in to what this app does. It uses natural language to create timers. And, and right off the bat, it starts with a, a timer that we can just hit the play button on and we can get started with. All right, so that's great. But a lot of times I need a, a quick timer. And so what I'll do, I'll just pause this. What I'll do is I'll just type something. So I'll type something like five minutes. A lot of mornings I like to write for just five minutes where I don't really have a topic. I just wanna just start pounding on the keyboard, see what comes out. Uh, I'm always a sort of, surprised at what I get into or the thoughts that I have, the things that are just floating around my mind that are just sort of uh, appearing out of nowhere. And so I like to set a timer for five minutes, but I want a natural language timer. So I don't want a slider. I don't want to move anything around. I want something that's going to be very easy to get started. That's going to be keyboard focused since this is a Mac app and that just works. And so I'll just type five minutes and I'll go ahead and start a timer. Now I could also do something like type 15 min and that is going to create a 15 minute timer and start it right away. So it's very easy to get started with a timer. You could even do something like two hours and 30 minutes. Let's say you had a time block before you had to pick up the kids or you had this block of time before your next class, you could go ahead and just set a timer and it's just going to work. So that's a little bit of insight into the super easy apps timer. If you're interested in a beta test, click the link down below and sign up. And otherwise, uh, I'm looking for feedback. So in that little sign up link, you can answer a couple questions and tell me what you're looking for in a timer app and if this app is interesting and in what it does. So that's a quick preview. I'm gonna have a, a, a few more videos that are gonna be published shortly that are gonna show off some of the other features of this app. And I really wanna get your input. I want this app to be something that is gonna be something that you want to use every day. This is something that I'm currently using every day. I really like it. I think you're gonna like this app. So let me know, like this video if this was interesting. If you wanna beta test, just hit the like button and click the link down below to subscribe for the beta. There's a little link right there you can fill out to get in line for a free beta test. All right, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. This has been a really exciting process working with Luke on this app. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you uh, a couple shorthand tips and tricks that we've built into this app.